Out of every amazing tip we'll cover in this video, there are only 25 that are truly useful to a quest owner. Like tip number one for example, and that's increasing the battery life of your headset. The Quest 2 runs out of juice quite fast, especially when you're playing its biggest games. And that's why I would consider extending it with a battery strap. I can personally recommend the M2 by Bobo VR. This strap allows you to magnetically snap an additional battery to the back and as a bonus significantly improves the comfort and has a flip up function too. How handy! That said, tip number two is all about spiders. Ooh, yes, this might sound ridiculous, but there have been folks out there who found spiders in their headsets, with uh, the most famous example being that of YouTuber Markiplier. As long as you don't live in Australia, I, I don't think you have to worry you're going to find one inside your headset that will eat out your eyeballs, but I would still check every nook and cranny before putting it on. Tip number three lets you share your games with friends and family. So let's say you have friends and family coming over and want to show them what you see inside the headset, then you can choose to stream your gameplay to a mobile phone or computer. This feature is called a casting and depending on where you want to share it to, can be activated inside the Quest's menu or through the mobile app. Also, it is possible to stream it to your television. But to be able to do that, you need to have an internet browser installed and navigate to oculus.com slash casting to make the magic happen. Moving on to tip number four, creating a safe play space. So are you mostly diving into high intensity experiences? Then well, chances are you've already hit something out of excitement. And next to wearing wrist straps, it's also smart to have a reminder of where you are in your play space. Staying centered is key to keeping your TV, furniture and family members alive. I can recommend looking into a floor mat like you have in the bathroom or what I'm using, a proxy mat made specifically for intense VR sessions. Go check it out and let me know what you think. Tip number 05 gets you quick access to the real world. So what's cool is that you can double tap the side of your headset to quickly turn on pass through. Just double tap again when you want to return to glorious virtual reality. Easy peasy. Tip number 6. How to discover App Lab. When you can't get enough of playing games, there's a hidden store under the name App Lab that lets you explore even more titles and allows developers to publish games on the Quest that are work in progress. Interestingly enough, these can only be found by using the search bar in the store. But how do you know what you're looking for? Well, uh, luckily someone created a list of all games available that you can type in and play. You can find this page in the video's description. Have fun and make sure to give these developers all the feedback you have. Tip number 7. Referral system. If you want to earn free cash to spend on games, you can make use of Meta's referral system. So what you want to do is go to the store, choose your game and generate a link that you can share with anyone you want. And when someone then buys this game, they receive a 25% discount and you receive $5 store credit to spend on your next game. It's a win-win for everyone. Tip number eight, how to pimp your home. Custom home environments are a thing. Yes, uh, you can pick from a variety of fantastic looking environments from Star Trek to Super Mario and Minecraft to Marvel. You can let your imagination pretty much go wild. These are sadly not standardly available on Quest and need to be downloaded through a program called SideQuest. I made a handy tutorial that shows you exactly how to do it in a few simple steps. Again, there is a link in the description below that will help you out. Tip number 9. Refunding games. When you haven't played a game for more than 2 hours, you are of course entitled to a refund. This only applies if you really aren't happy with a specific title and you make this request within 14 days after purchase. You can start this process in the settings of your phone app and from there it will explain itself. Good luck! Tip number 10. How to capture your favorite moments. Want to take a short video or quickly take a screenshot? Then all you have to do is hold the meta slash uh, oculus button on your right controller followed up with pressing the trigger. This is super handy for when you want to keep playing and while doing so capturing the most action packed moments. After you're done you can select them on your phone and upload them straight to social media. 
Tip number 11, Achievement Hunter. So for the real completionists uh, out there, each game has its own achievements. You can even compare yours to others to find out how you're doing. These can be found by selecting your preferred title in your library and clicking on achievements will get you there. Or you can just use the phone app instead. It's totally up to you. Tip number 12, very important, comfort ratings. So all the official games and experiences you can play on the store have a special rating. If you are just starting out or are sensitive to motion sickness, then it's a good idea to keep an eye out for these. As you can see, there are four ratings in total and depending on which one you can handle, you can make a wise, wise purchase. To find this, you open the store page of the game you're interested in and by going to details, you will be able to figure out if it's on your level or not. Tip number 13, play PC VR games. So when you own a fast computer or laptop, you can connect it to your Quest and play PC VR games wirelessly. This feature is known as AirLink and can be turned on in the headsets settings. It's amazing what you can play on it and definitely lets you experience the cutting edge of gaming. Not that long ago, I created a guide that tells you exactly how to set it up. A link to that can be found in the description as well. Tip number 14, customize your personal appearance. If you want, you can customize your Quest avatar with a bunch of different outfits from well-known brands and so much more. Some are free and others paid, but there is definitely something unique for everyone to wear. So go well and see what crazy outfit you can come up with. Tip number 15, how to remotely party up. When you are on your way home and want to uh, play a game with a friend soon after, you can set up a party up front. In the mobile app, tap on the person you want to invite and select the title you want to dive into. After they accepted your request, the game will automatically generate a party for you. Voila! Tip number 16, Cloud Gaming. When you have Xbox Game Pass, you can play your favorite titles on your Quest by just streaming them to the headset from the cloud. All you gotta do is connect your controller over Bluetooth and then start jumping into the best of the best this subscription has to offer. Welcome to the future. Okay, let's move on to tip number 17, multitasking. On Quest, you can start out with uh, just one screen in front of you, but you can drag and drop any app to your left and right to have a nice overview of everything you love to keep an eye on. Tip number 18, how to clean your lenses. So this is an absolute classic. I see lots of folks who make the mistake to clean their lenses with a paper towel or even shirt. Trust me, this does more harm than good, so always use a lens wipe instead. Tip number 19 lets you take your phone inside VR. So personally, I find this tip immersion breaking, but if you want, you can bring your phone's notifications into the headset. So this can be useful for when you receive a text message or are being called outside of VR. You can enable this in the devices tab on mobile. Tip number 20, how to enable nighttime. If you got sensitive eyes like me, it can help to turn down the brightness, but also to activate a night mode, which unlocks a nice quiet tint that overlays every game you play. I mostly use this during late hours, right before I go to bed, to give my eyes some space to breathe. Tip number 21, voice control. Next to navigating your headset with uh, controllers or hand tracking, you can also choose to use your voice. You can ask it to launch a game or go to a certain page. You can turn this on in the main settings of your quest and it's worth mentioning that currently it's only available in North America. So tip number 22 is all about a human's favorite hobby and that is of course working out. Yes, so if you want to get healthier then you can count your steps and calories while playing your games in VR. So to start tracking these all you have to do is dive into the MetaQuest Move app and will then give you all the information you need. You got this challenge accepted. Tip number 23, Space Sense. So this is a forgotten feature that allows you to see outlines of people, animals and things around your play space to increase awareness of what's directly in front of you. If you have a busy household this can definitely come in handy. Tip number 24, how to teleport. 
That's right, so this simple but hidden trick lets you move through your home environment by just pushing the thumbstick forward. And you will see several spots that you can travel to. This allows you to explore more of your surroundings and pick a personal spot of where you want to hang out with friends or summon the menu. So this is a nice and freeing thing that you can use anytime. And last but not least is tip number 25. This one is all about performance, baby. So if you want, you can tweak your uh, quest games and boost the graphics quality, improve smoothness, uh, battery life and performance as you go. This can be done through an unofficial app called Quest Games Optimizer. If you're interested in pushing your headset to the limit, then this is a must download. I will make sure there is a link in the description. Enjoy! So there you go, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tip was and uh, until next time. Bye bye!